We're here. Pepperdine University, California Strong, Celebrity, the All-Star Game. Ed Vici playing in the background. The <laughs> sun is out. Did you just say Ed Vici? Ed Vici. R.I.P. Well, Tough Pepperdine start. waves. Tough we got some big celebrities. Ploof's and here. Trevor Ploof. Yeah, Ploof's here. Going to be a big day. He's out. He's gone. <laughs> and He's cut. Now, right. for California Strong, it's like Yelly, Braun, those guys. You're kind of California Strong. I mean, those guys. I mean, but California strong, you know. Yeah, what I'm we're all Cali strong, man. Uh, we're all we're all here for a good cause, and you know it's even better that we we grew up here um, and, and known it from the start. All right, we're here at California Strong with the reigning MVP. Took home some hardware last year. You gonna you gonna repeat? Um, you know, I hope so. It's just, you know, I, I was showing up, I was feeling good, and then I've been getting a lot of questions about. If I'm gonna repeat, and you know, I'm starting to feel the pressure a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you know, I think I'll be okay. We weren't here last year. What was the biggest highlight? What won you the award? Well, if we're being honest, I think it was just I hit a home run like right before the voting. Oh, that's huge! So, <laughs> that's huge. You know, I was just fresh in everyone's mind. They're like, "Who are we voting for?" Well, that guy just hit a home run. Yeah, and I was obviously the best, the best there player too. What can I do with this? We thing? said this right before we started talking, and now the people watching have noticed. That's the biggest apple I've ever seen. It's getting oh, close to my yeah. head. Well, is that got a tiny head? Put that next to his head. Look at that. It's close. I mean, like I said, it's it's a softball game, not a baseball game. So you gotta have the softball size apples instead of the baseball size. Did you apples. plan on that as your pregame meal? Like, are you just going with it, or where are you at? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just kind of rolling with it, man. I just I just saw him over there, and you know, you can't you can't turn down an apple this size. I mean, you know, when, when how often are you gonna get a chance to eat an apple this big? And that's how I feel. What's your party scale for this, one through 10? Yeah, I crunched the numbers, and I think I, uh, Chipotle, Electrolytes, and Dingers, I gotta go 10. And Patrick Dempsey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always Patrick Dempsey. Did you see the size of the apples? Yeah. Gigantic, dude. What's huge. with that? I think they're softball size, yeah, right? Softball. That's what Tatro said. Dude, Tatro had one, and it was near my head, and I've got, like, a peanut head going on, and it was like, that's bad optics, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, someone needs to test the apples for juice. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Jack, you went deep. Did you wake up knowing you were going to go deep today? Yeah, yeah, it's just natural. It's a feeling. <laughs> Every day? <laughs> I'm just messing around. No, it's just good to be out here. Uh, I mean, beautiful day. Freaking sun's out. Blessed to be here. So. Uh, all these guys are doing a great, great thing for for the community and giving back for people that lost everything. So uh, I'm just happy to be here. Which one of you is California? Which one of you is strong? Uh, I think I'm California because he's got his deadlift is like yeah, it's unprecedented. Yeah. Thank you, dude. That means a lot to me. Yeah. I think you're only as strong as what you believe in, and I'm California strong. Believe in my deadlift. We heard that you were going to be the star of this game. You heard wrong. <laughs> you are heard taking wrong. it serious, though. I've, I've seen the fundamentals. You've been getting loose. Yeah, I, I you know, I, like all of us, I, we played when I was a kid, and I, this is the only time I ever get to put a mitt on is yeah. to do something like this. So I love it. I love coming out like this. We play in first base or over there, right? Well, I was supposed to play second, and then there was no first base. We don't have first baseman on the team. Oh. And I don't have first baseman's mitt. That's a general a manager. Tiny, I have a little tiny second baseman's mitt, so I'm out there at first like, ah. <laughs> Dallas Braden, he's an ex-pitcher, oh, is blowing up your hand. Blowing up my hand. Oh my god. He is blowing <laughs> my hand up. We interviewed Rob Lowe and he said you were hurting his hand. Yeah, when we did the warm-ups in between. I appreciate him though. He was out there. He was trying to get work in, in between innings, very consistent. I got to talk to Robbie about working the bag a little. Okay. He kind of screwed me on an on a E6 I had to wear, so I knew I had to come up to the plate and, and, and rectify that, which I, I did. There's a dent in the scoreboard. Sorry, Pepperdine. Uh, I'll pay you. So when Jock blasts that to right field, do you playing. think Jared's going to make a play? He just turned his head. Yeah, no, I, I have little to no confidence. in. I, I'm surprised I didn't get an ah out of Jared after that ball left the bat, because I've heard that out of him once or twice before. I think I have it on film, and he just took his phone out and started looking at it. So did you realize how close Trevor Plouffe was to knocking your teeth out on that double? <laughs> oh my god, I ran in there. 
And I'm thinking, I didn't even, I didn't even know he was a baseball player. And I'm running in. I'm like, they're not gonna throw it if I run in standing up like this. <laughs> and he turned and spun, and like I had to get out of the way. And yeah, it almost hit me right in the face. <laughs> that would have been a sour I turn. You, you, <laughs> I saw shot. you throwing up the distraction, <laughs> and he just was like, yes. that would have been wild. <laughs> You, now you were just up. What? How'd your at bat go? I know I you made a, good wood. Yeah, exactly. What I put is that what they say? Is that how a, sure. a baseball person would say? I put the bat on the ball yep. and it went farther than the infield. I know that, and somebody caught it, so I was out. But I'm still proud of the effort. So is where you, say, you say I squared it up, yeah. but I hit into bad luck. That's the baseball. Let me term. try it like a. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, it's good at bat. Um. I squared it up, but I hit into some bad luck, and um. I think I'll yeah. do it next time. Yeah, that's perfect. There, there was an error. There was an error that was made. I was over in right field and team one. And Goff hit it, and he, you know, guy's a monster. It was a monster drive. I had it. I had it. My sights. I came up on it. I called it. I called off Ori. I called off Chuck Liddell, <laughs> and it went right over my head. <laughs> Can you still? But you know what? It? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll have nightmares about it, but nobody else. Will. Just remember the two for two. That's great. Two for two. I scored. Two of the 37 runs or whatever it is that we that we scored. Those are those are two important ones. Look, the most important thing out here, and you know, it's such a, a great cause. But the most important thing, of course, is that we beat the living hell out of them. So that's what I feel best about. All the California strong stuff is really nice. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's awesome. Good. All these people yeah. out here supporting the cause. Yes. but but Team Braun, uh, at the end of the day, destroyed Team Yelich, and that's what's most important, isn't it? Chris Beck is hitting home runs. Before the game, he told me he wanted an invite to spring training. And I said, well, let's see what you got today. Well, he might be earning it. Two homers. He's been playing good. He's an actor and all that, but he's 38 years old. He can still do it. Has anyone impressed you or unimpressed you out there? Absolutely. I mean, everyone impressed me. Just, just showing up is enough. Uh, well, Backus has taken the MVP effort. from you. Effort. Yeah, he deserves it. He went oppo taco twice, lefty and righty. I mean... I he went lefty and righty? Switch hit, yeah. What the hell? So He said he was trying to get an invite to Brewer's camp, and he, like, might get it. <laughs> I think he might have got it. I think he might have got it, so good right. for him. MVP of the California Strong Celebrity Softball game, Chris Backus. What the hell, man? Well, I had a lot of practice. You know, I took it very seriously this year. I was working with Brad Boyer and then the board, you know, Ryan Braun and Mike Moustakis and Christian Yelich. I hit with them for the last couple of weeks just to, you know, make sure I could do it right. Yeah, from both sides. We talked to Adonacio and he said that you were going to put on a little show hoping for the spring training invite. That's I right. mean, I mean, I did I did say to him early on I was looking for an invite. They got a hole at third base. Moustakis is left. He signed that big deal with the Reds. So I was just saying, look, I could do the moose impersonation and get Dude, a couple of bats. Not you're, too bad. Are you a natural lefty or righty? I'm a righty. So how? when's the last time you swung lefty? He's been working. I've been working for the last two weeks, He's but been... before that, 20 years? Yeah, I going to say. Yeah. I mean, I haven't played in the softball game except for last year, so it's been a while. Where's the trophy going? I don't know. I got an office, so probably in the office. It'll be prominently uh, displayed. I got Maybe I should have the guys sign it, too. That'd probably be a, a good be cool. idea. Cool. Although, I don't know if they recycle it for next year. I don't know. No, no, no. Uh, we uh, talked yeah. to Tatro. He got it last year. And it's still, <laughs> where's Tatro keep his? I don't know. We thought he should have had to bring his back and yeah, hand it to I think that's right? what it should be. We like can make that green happen, jacket I think. I think style. He'd, he'd like that. <laughs> yeah. well, congrats on your win. Thank you. Some good glove work, too. I don't want people to just think it that's was a true. bat. That's true. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, that was the part I was more nervous about. Getting some field work was definitely uh, not on the, the recipe, of, you know. Put on a shell. Appreciate yeah. it. Couldn't draw it up too much better than this. Um, you know, Ryan basically led this whole thing. Uh, he put in a lot of hours and. Uh, to be able to have this the way it is, it's incredible. More than anything, you see the community come together. You see the ability to bring, you know, athletes, actresses, actors, entertainers, uh, models. Any, I mean, you ability to bring all of LA together, and then just you know, people that want to represent what what we're able to do. And I think it's you know, it's a, it's an amazing thing, an amazing event. And I think you know, none of it's possible without people like Ryan Braun and people like the Antonasio family, and and just spearheading this thing and, and getting it all done. So. I think what struck me the most is the state senator for the region was here and he was talking about how meaningful this was and and I know and I was telling Jared Goff this who has given a lot of his time in the off season and you know flown up to give checks out to victims and whatnot you know actually getting money into the hands of, of uh, victims of, of any whether fire or shootings or whatnot is so meaningful because often in charitable organizations the money gets trapped because of you know red tape or bureaucracy the partnership with the YMCA here, the money goes out. So virtually everything that they raise gets put into the hands of those 
who need it. And, you know, you don't really think about this, but, you know, you lose your home, which you think you lose everything. You're even getting $1,000 to get First another computer, you, you, don't, you don't have the money. Yeah. And so they've made, uh, while, while, you know, insurance checks and whatever otherwise coming in, it's helping get people get back on their feet and very, very special. And for me, it just gives me a lot of uh, hope in the country that this generation, well, these guys are in their 20s. Not Ryan's like the old man at 36. <laughs> well, these guys in their 20s are out and showing. Cody Bellinger showing up. Uh, Jock Peterson. Jock hit a missile. That was pretty yeah, cool. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess he does that. Jock, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jock yeah, Peterson no. against this is here at a fastball up here from from uh, Josh Hader. He put into our upper deck. <laughs> 98 miles an hour. <laughs> We're here at Pepperdine in Malibu. I spent a lot of years of my life living here playing baseball on this field you know you know my first home in Malibu burned down in this last fire so a lot of history a lot of good reasons for us all to be here to support the people who need it and our first responders and the people who were affected by the fires and the floods it's, it's a great day this kind of summarizes what California people like kind of dream of it being about like you got the palm trees the sunset the water the flyover, Baseball, entertainers, Jaleel athletes. White. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is this is perfect. It's a perfect day, beautiful day, great turnout. So many people came out to support. Just fantastic. I mean, last year it was raining. We had a muddy field. It was tough, man. It was tough. So this is really nice to come back and, and have this weather, have this turnout. It was great. And and, and, and to have you guys here. <laughs> I have to say, I'm there a huge go. fan of you guys. Hey, so, come on. Uh, this is this is an honor for me to get interviewed <laughs> by you guys. Don't. We, we heard Backus got himself an invite to spring training. That, my dad's what my dad was saying. Yeah. Yeah. My dad, my, my dad, <laughs> owner of the owner of the Brewers, was saying we got to bring this guy out. He Dude. played in. I think he played in college. He was drafted. Both sides of the plate. I think he said he was a pitcher, which is surprising. He's, but he's oh, he's coming out for sure. He was we need him. We need. We, we'll take it. <laughs> he's kind of small market team. Got to find. Got to find our guys <laughs> where we can. <laughs> Every well, corner. Once you start giving out spring training contracts, <laughs> the talent pool next year. Is gonna yeah, be that's true. Jake's gonna get, try and get himself well, an invite. Talent pool. <laughs> let's see. Let's, Those are two different. Let's see where we can get get John Boy to. I'm feeling. We get we I'm get John Boy to uh, five hundred thousand Twitter followers. And that might be too much. Let's see. Five hundred thousand. Yeah, we'll get there. You guys get you guys get jerseys. You guys get at best. Okay. All right. And I'll, Let's I'll, do, I'll get an at bat, and we can do Jake. He can do like you know when the dog is the bat boy type thing, <laughs> just crawling yeah. around picking Rookie's up bats. A bat Which dog. one of you guys is a better baseball player? Both it's bad. Tight. It's <laughs> both tight. bad. The scouting report isn't good for both <laughs> of us. Um, I I was good behind the dish uh, as a catcher. Okay. Hitting. Ever block the plate? Once. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, I could take deck some people. No, I got decked, but I had uh, that ball. <laughs> you got, you got <laughs> yeah. decked. Yeah. You got decked. Okay. Nice hit, man, but you're out. I didn't <laughs> drop this. Jake could play a nice I'll make, third I'll base. I'll make some outfield plays, third base. Okay. Jake's a Kiermaier. A lot of eye wash. Yeah. Really? A lot of, lot of hot dog. A lot of hot dogs. A lot of hot dogs. All right, I can I'm see, gonna make, I, I can but it's for that. the fans, man. Yeah. We're having a good time. It's entertainment. Know? And yeah. I think, I think last thing, because this is kind of the biggest thing. A California strong. We've been talking to you about it, and it's awesome. And I think the bigger thing is we talked about the celebs, the baseball players, and these people. It's not like they just showed up and they were like, "All right, I got to be here. Let's yeah. get this over with." Like these are proud California people, and it's awesome. Yep. There are a lot of California natives, and the people, you know, a lot of entertainers, a lot of actors, musicians, athletes live here in the off season or live here full time. So this is really everyone's home, even if you're not from here. And everyone's really taken that to heart. It's really, really cool to see everyone come out and, and support the, the movement, California Strong Movement, and, and our charity and what we do. And it just shows you know, how much the state and it just means to everyone. So really cool. Awesome.